Good evening and welcome to State of Business. You are with me, Madhusha Tavapala Kumar. Let's take a look at tonight's headlines first. BPPL Group to expand manufacturing operations targeting export market. And Sri Lankan cargo records impressive growth. Now the stories in detail. The shares of the BPPL Holdings, which is also known as Bera Group, commenced trading on the Colombo Stock Exchange today. The company, a leading brush manufacturer in Sri Lanka, issued 30.68 million shares at 12 rupees each through an IPO to raise 368 million rupees. In the 1980s, when the country was driving on different path, manufacturing was the base. Everybody want, wanted to do something in manufacturing, but that went away from the country and people thought of trading mainly because of the risk-taking ability diminished because of the war and problems that we had. I don't think Sri Lanka can leapfrog and reach a different stage of growth without this manufacturing base. Therefore, I value this manufacturing sector to take off. And if you think that only service sector can survive and make this country, take it to a different level, I think all of us are sadly mistaken. It should be backed by a manufacturing base. The management of the BPPL holdings took part in the traditional bell ringing ceremony at the Colombo Stock Exchange today. One of the group's three main stakeholders, Hydramani Investment Holdings, has divested 10% of the shares for the initial public offering as a part of its long-term exit strategy. The group also plans to expand its operations by entering into production of synthetic yarn. Our big customers are largely in the US and in, in Europe, Australia, New Zealand as well. We are now expanding with our own brand of uh, branded range of products into Southeast Asia because we feel that those markets are now ready to start accepting high quality products at reasonable prices uh, and we are customizing our, our offering into those markets with uh, tailor-made local uh, packaging, branding, etc. So we will first address the, the rest of the Southeast Asian markets before we start looking elsewhere as well. Speaking further, Dr. Amara Singh said that they are monitoring the changes taking place in America as new President Donald Trump is promoting protectionism. We haven't seen anything that has been rolled out so far. Uh, but the point is that if it happens to us, it happens to the rest of the world as well. So we'll still be on, on, on a level playing field. And some of the things that we do, some of the manufacturing, the products that we manufacture, it's not that easy to manufacture those in the US. So that could lead to higher costs, high inflation, and, and, and so on. I think the rest of the world will also, if this was to happen, will the currencies will adjust downwards. We, still, we are still waiting to see how these things unfold. And I, and I think uh, we were confident that the market forces will adjust accordingly. Meanwhile, the initial public offering of RIL Property Limited was oversubscribed on its first day of the issue. The company issued 120 million shares at 8 rupees each to raise 960 million rupees. As per the prospectors, the issue was closed this afternoon. The IPO funds will be utilized to expand the business operations of RIL and its fully owned subsidiary Foodbus, a franchisee of the Bread Talk group based in Singapore. Police have launched a special program from today to curb road accidents during the hour of the season. Accordingly, special operations will be commenced island wide to apprehend drunken drivers. <laughs> සාප්පු සාවාරි පටන් අරන් තියෙන්නේ අපිට අත්දැකීමෙන් දන්නවා සංඛ්‍යා ලේඛන අපිට පෙන්නුම් කරලා තියෙනවා විවිධ වර්ගයේ පුජ්‍යලයන් මේ සාප්පු සාවාරි ඉලක්ක කරගෙන මේ අවුරුදු සමය තුල ක්‍රියාත්මක වෙනවා. ඉතින් මේක වැළැක්වීමට අපි විශේෂයෙන්ම සිවිල් ඇඳුමෙන් සැරසුණු පොලිස් නිලධාරීන් ඒ වගේම නිල ඇඳුමෙන් සැරසුණු පොලිස් නිලධාරීන් මේ සාප්පු සාවාරි වල මහ ජනතාව වැඩිපුර ගැවසෙන නාගරික ප්‍රදේශවල වෙන්ම ග්‍රාමීය කඩසාප්පු බහුල ප්‍රදේශවලට අපි නිලධාරීන් වැඩි ප්‍රමාණයක් යොදවලා තියෙනවා. See you after this break.
Welcome back. Sri Lankan cargo, the freight handling arm of Sri Lankan Airlines, has recorded substantial growth over the last few years. The growth of air cargo is also considered as a direct indicator which projects the growth of an economy of any country. The cargo centre of Colombo's Bandanaike International Airport had handled 239,636 tonnes in 2016, a remarkable growth of 12.88 per cent over the 212,277 tonnes in the previous year. Sri Lankan cargo handles cargo of all airlines that operate to Sri Lanka's main international airport, including imports, exports and transshipments. Be able to carry uh, top-notch customers like we carry Nike, we carry uh, Adidas, a lot of world-class product, uh, Nokia, Dell, computers, all that is being handled by Sri Lankan. Even now we carry so many stuff. So the good thing about our service level in terms of handling, support service, the people who, I mean, the staff who are related to this area has been very, very professional. Uh, and we have raised our bar by handling those top uh, customers. Let's take a look at the stocks after this break. Welcome back. The trading at the Colombo Stock Exchange ended in a positive note today. The all share price index gained 66.68 points to close at 6146.69. An S&P SL20 index gained 52.36 points to close the session at 3495.48. The turnover was 1.3 billion rupees and 20.6 million shares were traded. Next is forex rates. Thank you for joining with us. We'll meet you tomorrow at the same time with more latest news. Until then, take care. Good night.